Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to use ChatGPT to start an Amazon FBA listing step-by-step. Step. Be sure to subscribe down below if you enjoy the video. Uh, other than that, let's get right into it. So the product we're gonna be referencing is a fly tying kit. We're gonna be acting as if we made a product in this market and we're trying to get a listing made so that we can rank it and start making tons of money. So the first thing we're gonna look at are who are our, that was confusing, who are our, <laughs> main competitors. So go ahead and click on the sellers that make the most selling a similar product. We'll grab this one, grab the next one, and then we will grab uh, maybe this one here. So all we need, three to five, go ahead and, oh, uh, let's grab a couple more. I said three to five. We'll grab this one and this one, great. Run Cerebro. So this is Helium 10, and now we're moving into Cerebro. Uh, there will be a link in the description to get a discount off of Helium 10 permanently. So every month it'll be a little bit less for you if you need it. So when I click get keywords, what I'm going to be shown is a list of all of the filtered keywords that those listings collectively are getting sales from and or at least are ranking for or indexed for. So we're gonna make some changes to this data. So we're gonna come in in the bottom right and click advanced rank filter. Um, so this is the number of ASINs out of the total number of ASINs. So two out of five, so a minimum of two, fill out, fill out your minimum field. The advanced rank filter max, 50. So we're saying show us a at least two of these ASINs that rank in positions one through 50. This is gonna do, it's gonna generate a list. So we have 43 filtered keywords that at least two of the ASINs out of the five above rank somewhere on page one for. Um, so we can sort this by search volume. And now what we have is essentially a big keyword bank of all of the keywords that are used to get customers to the products that sell the most. We're now going to click export data over on the right hand side into Frankenstein, which is the word processor. Once you're in Frankenstein, hit include free word frequency count. We're gonna do remove single letters remove common words, remove duplicates, and then add commas with space. What this is going to give you is a big keyword bank, which we're going to feed into ChatGPT to make sure it's using all of the keywords that are necessary um, to get this listing right. Not all of these are necessary. We wanna take out things like misspellings. That's just gonna look unprofessional. We don't want misspellings in there. And while we're in here, we can actually just use this as a place to draft our uh, message to ChatGPT. So we could say, write me a long, detailed Amazon listing fly tying kit that contains scissors, bobbin. Now, of course, you would be getting all this information from your listing. I'm just kind of riffing, looking at stuff on Amazon and then coming back and putting it in here uh, so we have an example to use. Now we're going to say using the following keyword bank. Awesome. So now we're going to copy this, head over to ChatGPT, paste that, send. So what it's just written is an, an immense amount of highly detailed copy, full and rich of those keywords that we added in. Um, and it's given us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven paragraphs. I would take that and use that as a description. And what I would tell it to do is write a Amazon product title for that product. That is an amazing title. We're gonna stick just with that. And then we're gonna say, write five bullet points for that listing titled free tutorial included, fly tutorial included, generate. Now we could give it some feedback. So make it funnier and longer. Okay, this is really funny. Some of the stuff it's writing is actually making me laugh. Whether you're on the banks, the river, in the middle of a board meeting, still can't tie a fly after reading the tutorial. Just blame it on the tutorial and not on yourself. <laughs> okay, this is really good. So I actually like this. I tend to like putting a little bit of, you know, branding and uh, some fun and, you know, not making everything so serious. So this is copy that I would actually use. That's the title that I would use. This is the description that I would use. And you're going to fill in the fields and the uh, dimensions and all that stuff, but you're done. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know that you're enjoying this kind of content and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Later.